Thanks, Kyle. Well, with Election Day just one day away, we're continuing to sit down with candidates running for political office. And this morning on Daybreak, we are joined by House of Representative District 149 Republican candidate John Clements. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Doing fine. Good, good. I know it's early. Uh, well, been in the farm business, you get up early. So you're morning. used to it. Kind of used to okay, it. Okay, well, right. you mentioned you've been in the farm business. Tell us about yourself. Uh, my name's John Clements. I was born and raised in Eastman, Georgia, in a grocery store. Uh, my dad, when I got old enough to put a can of beans on the shelf, had me working. <laughs> and I figured at a very young age, that was not what I wanted to do. So I've always wanted a farm. I finally have one, but I got a u unique twist to it. Okay. I yeah. export horses. Oh, neat. Uh, we ship them all over the world, uh, yeah. such as the the horses that they use in the Olympics. Believe it or not, they're flown in. Okay. And that's what that's what I do. So we fly them out of the country into other parts of the world. Okay. So farmer, horse exporter, now new political newcomer. Tell us about the focus of your campaign. Uh, focus of my campaign is that we have unique individual. Th uh, um, how can I put it? Um, we have. A, a, a unique ways of, of bringing jobs into Eastman okay. and the 149th district. Uh, we need to take a look at what we have as our um, the um, existing facilities that we have. We need to take and, and cultivate where we can start putting people back to work there. Okay. And um, in my business that I'm in, I've seen places all over the world and things that we can do in our um, in our area that maybe nobody's ever thought about before. Okay, now your district covers Dodge, Telfair, Wheeler counties, and also parts of Lawrence and Jeff Davis, yes, right? Okay, so what do you see as kind of being the biggest challenge in that district? Is it bringing more jobs to bringing the area? jobs. Uh, I haven't been able to meet everybody because I've only been campaigning for 10 weeks. And it's hard to do, meet as, with as big as our district is, it's hard to meet everybody. But uh, there's ways that I think that we can take, like I say, our pre-existing facilities that we have and put, put them back to work doing something. I'm not for sure exactly what we would do, but if we don't try, we won't never get anything. Okay. Now, the incumbent is Jimmy Pruitt. Yes, ma'am. How are you, you know, how are you different from your opponent? Um, my opponent is, uh, he's a businessman. He's, you know, he's focused with just the larger type uh, clients. Uh, I want to go out and meet the general people. I need to go out and find out what they want me to do. Because actually what I'm asking for is a temporary job. It's only temporary for two years. If they don't like me, they can fire me. Okay. And uh, you mentioned bringing more jobs. Would you say that that's the first item on your agenda if you win? First item on my agenda if I win is I'm going to go to each one of the communities and I want the people to tell me what they want me to do because I work for them. They don't work for me. All right, wonderful. That's unfortunately all the time we have this morning. But remember, folks, Election Day is tomorrow, July 31st.